was last in my class. Your theories are the worst kind of popular tripe, your methods are sloppy, and your conclusions are highly questionable. Hi everyone, Dr. Incompetent here, and I'm going to just fast forward through a section of gameplay to catch up to where I was last time. Um, hopefully your eyes don't burn out of your skull as this is happening. I believe this effect will work correctly. It might not. My computer might start smoking at any moment now. But anyway, uh, in any second now, we're going to actually catch back up to live footage. Thanks. All right, everyone. Hello, it's Dr. Incompetent here, bringing the very worst of academia into contact with the worst of gaming and just sprinkling it with a nearly indistinguishable sense of humor, hoping to bring a little smile to your day, um, just the smallest of smiles, and if that interests you, just a, a little smile and maybe a grimace, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. Here we go. So last time I left off um, getting ready to go into the Slitter Cult Stronghold because I got my behind kicked in the Cyclops Cavern. Now, um, I don't know if it was a DOS box problem or a me problem. Probably a me problem. Pretty much most things are a me problem, but I lost my save game. So right before this, um, you saw me just kind of fast forward through uh, a whole bunch of gameplay to catch up to where I was. Now, that resulted in different treasure being obtained, so I've got a slightly different uh, setup here, but not anything super significant. I'm all blessed up, trained up, ready to go. And I thought I'd start here, um, very near the political Stronghold, because I've got a new enemy, uh, which are these sprites. Um, they're all blue, they're flying, they've got their hair covering one eye, so they're kind of pirates, um, but they look like friendly Tinkerbells, and so the only thing to do to Tinkerbells is attack, and they have some kind of electrical attack, it looks like, that hits everybody. Um, there was a bunch of zapping going on, that's not what I want ever. Um, but they're dead, so we win again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just dive into this Slither Cult stronghold and see what is in store for me here. All right, so I'm going to use my torch, blaze up, and oh my god. So I enter. Um, and there's a candle and a snake woman right here. It's very interesting. I don't know if this is some kind of uh, artifact of the entrance to the dungeon, but I'm not in actual melee combat with this snake lady uh, who has two tails that are shining, um, and just a full bosom, uh, with purple lips, and human eyes, and then snake eyes on top? So it looks like there's a snake that has swallowed a woman, and she's kind of peering out of the mouth? That looks uncomfortable for everybody, but she's not just your everyday woman. She's got this forked tongue flicking out of her mouth. Uh, so this is some kind of like Island of Dr. Moreau melding of people and snakes. They must be, be uh, performing vivisections in here. I can not hear the screams myself, but maybe you can. Anyway, um, so I can't attack. I can only shoot, but that actually serves me just fine. I wonder if you can exploit that in any way, because she didn't appear to have a ranged attack. Anyway, um, let's 
wander in. There was a weird little graphical effect as I stepped through there. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, um, stay sharp in the Slither Cult stronghold for safety is scarce. Wow, they're really milking the S words there. This guy's like, uh, you know, Sylvester, the, uh, the cat, speaking with those long S's. Um, Alright. Well, the good thing is, instead of pit traps everywhere, uh, there just appears to be this kind of guillotine swooping down upon me. Uh, and it's not moving, it's not like an axe pendulum guillotine that we saw before, it's just a traditional guillotine. This looks like it wouldn't be too hard to dodge, but the blood and gore suggest otherwise. Alright, so we're going in, and there's nothing I can do but take the damage, so I might as well just save the old game and fly inside. And we got a bash, and each time we fail this bash, we get hit by the guillotine, so that's just tremendously painful. Hopefully our, um, yeah, blessings, um, appear to, oh, Fat Shadow is cursed. Ah, you see, so all of these terrific icons representing his blessings kind of have obscured his face, but if you look closer, you see he's got a little frown. He's a, he's a sad guy because he's been cursed. And so it's that kind of curse. Um, that's not good, but our hit points are good. So I think the blessings are mitigating the damage we'll be taking from that guillotine. So that's outstanding. Here comes uh, Candleman. He definitely has a ranged attack. It's a candle creep. Hmm. That takes it to a darker place than I wanted. I thought this was like Lumiere for a moment, but the creep part, like, what is he doing? Is he watching other candles in the shower? Watching other candles while they sleep? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to know. Um, but I do feel a little less bad putting him down. All right, so we're going to do our straight strategy. Oh, crap. All right, yeah. We got to get off the square of the guillotine to fight these guys. Otherwise, they'd be shooting their fire at us incessantly, and then we would be getting chopped up. Now, luckily, we are taking very, very little damage from these guys, and that's, that's my kind of afternoon. Um, all right, so let's hop over here, and I think just all in all, what I'm noticing is that the skill level required for this dungeon is very appropriate to my level, whereas the Cyclops Cavern was not anything I want to be touching at this point. I mean, I could, like, go get all the buffs and then charge in headlong, but the buffs wear off. So it doesn't seem like I'd want to try that and risk them wearing off in the heat of combat. I'll just wait until I can kick the crap out of it. It's my usual MO. Wander in overpowered. Alright. So we are really going down some long corridors here. It seems like the strategy, and I don't want to give it away, but this guy's got a weak point on top of the old head. We snuff that out and he's dead. Actually, though, you know, if we just wait long enough, that flame that he's so proud of is going to kill him. It's going to melt down, but we don't have that kind of time. So we'll just shoot away. Alright, here's a a blue man, and, um, boy, okay, what are you up to? Only the strong of spirit should proceed down the serpent's tail. Well, I'm not strong of spirit, but I'm gonna keep going. The mummy king lies hidden in the fortress of fear. Solve the combination to discover his tomb. Alright. So I like how... Um, 
you know, it's a, it's a conceit that they're using to distribute information in lieu of the fact that there aren't any humans walking around in this game. So they have these blue man-ass statues and other fountains and things to tell you information. Uh, but it is funny that this guy's like ratting out the Mummy King. I don't know if there's a spat between the Fortress of Fear and the Slitherfoot Stronghold. Whatever the case may be, this guy's just throwing the secrets away. Uh, willy-nilly. I'll take it. But, uh... That guy's face has ex-lover written all over it. Hell hath no fury. Like a blue, four-sided head. Alright. So, we've been sneaking around this little spiral here. And so I can only guess that what's coiled inside this... This might be the serpent's tail. I don't know if it's like the, you know, the winding snake, or this is just some other fun time for us. Uh, all right, you're cursed, but you're going in anyway. Ooh, okay. So this looks good. I'm gonna say good. Now we did just step into a red bubbling, one of these things, little pools of liquid in the cyclops cavern and it killed somebody so i'm gonna save it before we go wading in to this hopefully not urine pool um the yellow spring surges with life wade in and search all right so hairy hand went in and oh became a more advanced adventurer so he was hit pretty hard but let's see how advanced gee many christmas this guy just got... Okay, so Fat Shadow was way ahead with his lockpicking, but everyone else is around 100 grand, yeah, around 120, and he just went up to 400, so he just quadrupled about his experience. That is outrageous. Um... But I don't understand, he's not eligible for the next level, or has his level been magically augmented? What level does it say you are? Ten? Three attacks per round? Oh! Oh! Oh, no, what? Oh, okay. Sorry for saying oh so many times there. Um, I'm just figuring things out, and it takes me a while, I'm slow. It not only gave me the experience, it also leveled me up. Like, normally I would expect to have to go back and chop watermelons, but this just gave me the experience. So now, I'm starting to potentially see what's good about being a ninja, and this is directly related to uh, Final Fantasy 1, where the nice thing is you get a bunch of attacks per round. That's also d and I suppose. Um, maybe with like a monk or something, but anyway, um, the other people have two attacks per round, but now we've got three attacks per round. So I don't know how that calculates in this game. I don't know if it means like I get three swings every time I push the attack button, or if that means it's gonna go through my party in order, and then we get to all do our attacks before the enemy attacks again. I mean, either way, it's very, very good. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. So I'm going to get really, really greedy, even though I know this hurts you, and I know this probably won't work, but I'm going to take another dip. Let's see if... Okay, there's nothing in the pool except pain. Sorry about that, Quiet Ride. I just couldn't resist. All right. A metal lockbox is set into the ground. Try to open it. Well, of course. And Fat Shadow comes up clutch. And there's 5,000 gold. Um, so... Amazing. Oh, and the lockbox disappears as you obtain it. Okay, that's nice. Alright, so... Looking at the map, and the way that things work as only being one little square here, um, I can see that there's nothing else that I could get to. Maybe a secret door here or here, but there's blue men there, and I didn't see the lizard waving. I'll step on here again just to see if I botched anything. No, I didn't. No, no botching. Alright, so... Alright, let's strafe through. God, I'm so happy there aren't 
pit traps. This is really, really encouraging. I can do a dungeon like this all day. Although I do have two magical items of limitation, so... There is that. Alright, now we're actually losing our big old reservoir of hit points. But that's okay, you don't expect to clear something like the Slither Cult Stronghold in just one go. Say the missing brother sent you. That's pretty cryptic. Who's missing brother? Mine? Yours? I don't know. I think I remember that there's like a bunch of brothers who are staggered around the game who are named like Alpha, Beta, Epsilon, whatever the first letters of the Greek alphabet are, uh, and one of them is gone, and, but I can't remember which one. Alright, look at this. Obviously a secret. Let's save it. And just get through it. Oh, this is one hell of a wall. It was like real stone there. I'm just yellowing these guys because I just am not impressed at all. Yep, there was a surprise. She was trying to surprise us. Alright, lockbox, what do we got here? Let's kind of just look at the map. Map it all out. What happened? Somebody fell asleep. Why are you sleeping? Asleep. Why the hell did you fall asleep? Why the hell is... Is our torch burn out? Do we, were we in here too long? Is there a time limit on torches? God, that hadn't happened yet. Well, we do have just the right item here that we can... Huh. It woke her up, but it didn't solve this problem. So let's make... I'm going to check to see if anybody's got a torch. I really don't think so. Please, somebody come up with something to set on fire. God, we need some kind of item of light. Ugh. All right, anyway. Um, I'm going to save it. I can get out of here with my map. But I know there's a pool here. Saffron sparkles stream across the well. Ah, oh, look at that alliteration. Grade A. Wade and search its depths. Wow, getting it again there. Those ash sounds massive. Yes, we're going to do this, and we're going to do it with F3. So there was a sacred silver skull in there. So not quite as good as the you are more experienced business. Now, the only thing I remember seeing in here was a uh, lockbox. Maybe not. God, I thought I did. No. So there's where the pool is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just turned around because, you know, can't see. Here's the lockbox. All right. Uh, fat Shadow. Fat Shadow. What kind of a mechanism is on this lock? Apparently a flaming trap. Bad Shadow, we're gonna do this until you're dead, buddy. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Let's not kill the whole party on this thing. It's clearly too difficult. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, all So that's this area mapped out. So what we're going to do is get the hell out of here. We've lost all our buffs. Oh, you know what? That was probably concomitant with uh, 
losing the torch was that like it passed midnight or something like that and all the stuff wore off Cinderella went to the ball um, I, I do have to be wary of this I'm just gonna rest at this point because who cares if I don't have a torch is this the way out like it. Yeah. Let's go outside. Please. Alright. So we are outside. Um, no. God, no. We're gonna go back to town. Just let it happen. At the very least, we need to buy a torch. I wouldn't mind getting my blessings back, getting the double health from the well, and going back in. I might actually even get the armor class. I'm feeling real good. Alright. Is anybody eligible now? Yeah. Oof, so close. What does curse do? Oh, it hits your luck. By two. Now that's really not that big of a deal. But it's big enough of a deal for me to. Ooh, I have to use the special feature of uncurse. God, you know, the worst thing of getting cursed is just the price of uncursing it. It's almost not worth it. Although I do like seeing this smile back. God, look at those teeth. Perfect. I almost forgot how handsome you are. Alright. That is great. Whoa, these are expensive buffs. This is gonna get me real far. I don't even need to bother with the armor class at this point or the strength. Let's just use these up. Alright, let's get out of here and go to the right place. Where's the right place, you ask? Well, it's in here. Alright, buddy. Did we get anything that we want to do anything with? I think so. No, oh, Sacred Silver Skulls. Man, I almost have enough if I so trade all these in. Um, sell. 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 Yeah, sell. Oh, fix. Please. Oh, yeah. Is this any better or is this just style points? It's just style. This does give you plus one, right? Okay. Oh, we'll sell. We'll sell this. Yes. I'm in the band. All right. Let's see if you've got anything beyond a torch. Shield of Sparking. Boy, that would be nice if I could equip that. But I can't. So we're out. Alright. Let's go turn in some skulls. Get some EXP from the Crane Meister. A little gold. And then let's head back out to the Slithercold Stronghold we keep chopping away. But before we do that... Yeah, time passes really fast. God, it's dark already? What time is it? 12.13 a.m. Oh, yeah. Aww. So sometimes there's just stuff randomly buried under the ground. Um, but unfortunately for me, I can't read any scrolls. Alright, let's get back to it. Torch me. Who bought that torch? Twink Daddy, was it you? Yeah. Alright, so let's be really judicious with this torch. Oh, let's go this way, let's go this way again. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, so you're the ones that put people to sleep. Well, you know what? You have such a baby face, fat shadow. Seek the wise men near the Valley of the Trolls. I will plan on it. I'm gonna 
to let you sleep. Looks like those tickling flames woke you up. Cobra fiend, huh? Wow. Uh, I've known since my GAI Joe days not to trust any Cobra fiends. Anybody who's even remotely associated with Cobra. Wow. Alright. I'm gonna have to come back to this place when I can do something about locks. Whoa, I was like, where's my arrow? And Lady Green is asleep. Now, I want to say something here. When Lady Green is asleep, these, the way that they illustrate her eyes, she really reminds me of the Southern Oracle and the, the Sphinxes from Never Ending Story. Just the, the closed eyes. If she opens her eyes, lasers. Um, okay, yes, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it with... Alright, well, no more of the massive experience, unfortunately, but we did end up with another Sacred Silver Skull, which means that the Shad Master is up a level. Alright, Shad Man. Do it. Do it. God, I wish I could do something to... Ooh, boy. All kinds of traps on this. Energy damage? Alright, fine. These traps, these slot boxes are quite annoying. Maybe when I level up, I'll have a better chance. Don't know. Alright. Another one. Alright, we're, we're saving it before we do this. Alright, is this the one? No. Got a bunch of Quatlu coins. Quatlu coins. Somebody takes those. Is it the brothers who take those? Somebody's into the Quatlus. sent you. Let's try the old go-to. Nope, that didn't work. You! I know the answer. I think it's Epsilon, but I'm not even going to bother with it. I haven't honestly learned it in the game. So, I'm just going to go back and say we did what we could here. Uh, let's... I know that at the very least, you can get up a level. Yeah. So, we did really well. I'm quite happy. We cleared out as much as we could. Let's see, anything else good around here? Let's save it so if we go too far out, we don't die. Kind of like, I can't remember if this game is similar in that fashion to uh, Dragon Quest, where if you you know where to go in Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior 1 uh, based on what doesn't kill you. And so if like, you venture across a bridge and everything there is way too high level, you know, okay, that's just not for me. And so I wonder if this game operates under that same principle. Oh, I bet this statue is sweet, but I can't get through these trees. I just don't know how to navigate them. It's sad. It really is. Okay. Um. Oh no, bugs. Oh no. Oh no. I get a lot of texts around. What are you up to? 100 gold. And you give me some cold. Anti-cold, I should say. No. That's actually not bad. Fine, whatever. I'll know if anybody tries to do a bunch of cold damage to me that you're the dude that I want to talk to. What do you want about? Yeah, sure. Protect me from fire. 
That's actually probably pretty reasonable inside this Wizard Cult stronghold. Just go talk to that dude. Oh! What are these guys about? Do I have... They're ogres. Wow. They're way more handsome than your average... Ogre. The sweat back hair, they kind of... They kind of look like the drummer for Fleetwood Mac, in a sense. Um... Yeah. Wow, just hammering down the green handled sledge that they've got there. They're like, you know, judges. Their language appears to be not great. One bracelet on the right hand. The key to their outfit, though, is no pants. It's like a one-piece. Maybe it's just shorts. Maybe they're ready to play basketball. I, I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to start swinging. See if I can take these dudes down. Well, the Shad Master is gone from the earth. But so are those ogres. Um, there's some sprites over there. Alright, I'm going to kind of walk back a little bit. I don't know if enemies can wander beyond the saving boundaries or not. I'm gonna rest. Just heal everybody up. Alright, no cool secrets along this coast. There's the Cyclops Cavern. Don't want to have anything to do with that. Alright, so let's see if... Oh, here's another cave. Look at this. There's... There's clearly something in this mountain, but I can't climb the mountain, so... The door is locked, and you don't have the key. Oh, I think the... The key written in yellow means, what, the, the yellow key? Is that what... That must be the Fortress of Fear, where the... Mummy Lord is chilling? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just completely remembering that wrong. I don't like these ogres at all. Last time I touched the ball, somebody got cursed, and I'm just not about that. Oh, is this HUD a sprite base? Sorry, ladies, I'm here for your home. Whoa, look how sad everybody's getting. Oh, they're getting cursed. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. My. God. Some people take the cursing worse than others. So, I mean, like, Lady Green is kind of like, meh, a little bit sad. Jesus, I hate to see you like this, man. And he's just a little upset, and so is Quiet Riot. She might be cheering up, but take a gander at Harry Hand. First of all, I didn't know his teeth were in such need of orthodontia, but they are. And then Hidden Hunk. I mean, that is the saddest face I can imagine. He looks like his parents have been killed in front of him. He's just completely remiss. That is... Man. I guess I'm gonna have to spend all the gold to, uh, just take away the sadness. I can't stand that. A giant scarab carved of solid marble fills the center of the room. The dried blood of sacrifice cakes the base of the altar. Pray at the insect shrine? Hmm, sure. You need to donate at all temples. Ah, okay. So... I think that's a reference to the fact that every major town in the game, you can donate, and if you have, then something magical happens there. I couldn't tell you what. Now, the nice thing about fighting these um, sprites at this point is that, like, I'm already cursed, so I think their damage is negligible. Although, is this curse? I'm gonna just let go at some point. It should stop. Is this cursing cumulative? Like, is it stacking up? Yeah, I'm max cursed. So, my luck is just absolutely shot. 
and that must somehow affect um, your ability to hit. Because I'm not hitting anything. Alright, I gotta get out of here. This is looking really grim. I never thought this could even be possible. Oh, I can't move. Oh, this is crap. Alright. Well, YOLO. Don't have a choice. Boy, I'm gonna. I can't. I can't hit these people. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a separate. There's an entirely separate button to uh, run away. It's not just moving in this. You can't move once you're in combat. I haven't even had to try that yet. You need to click the run away terrified button. So, I did lose a little progress. I'll go ahead and do that next time. Just remap what I mapped. But it wasn't anything profound. So, I think it's a good time to stop there. Um, I hate to stop on a death, but I think we get it. We know what we need to do. And um, we've cleared out the Slayer Cult stronghold as much as we need to for the moment. And what we really need to get into is... I think probably just venturing down the road and trying to get to the second town. I believe they'll give us a whole new host of items to upgrade, um, and there might be even some better stuff there that I'm not thinking about, but instead of just wandering into random dungeons, I think that's the next plan. So that is what I'm going to do in the next video. So, everyone, thank you tremendously for making it this far in the video and filling that void you didn't even know you didn't have by spending some time with your good buddy Dr. Incompetent. I really appreciate it. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe, hit that like. You'll know more and more useless drivel is coming out if you subscribe. Everyone, until next time, bye, Kondamaste. Thank you.